Miwako, Usami-chan. Did you find Shinonomi-senpai? In a word, yes, but... She ran off somewhere near the school. A guy named Sekigahara is looking for her right now. Uh, who's that? The only other guy we've seen here besides us. Anyway, it seems like we've got a way home. It's 1985? Really? We came here to get you. You ready? Y yeah. Yay. Stick with me, okay? Let's head to the school. charge of them. We need to go after her. If she seals off the gate, it's all over. Right. What's the report? Identified evidence of activity. A human likely utilized a crane to descend. Sounds like Ryoko-san's gone ahead. Secure the crane. Don't let her lock it up. supposed to get down there isn't it really deep 300 meters that quadruped's got a crane equipped a crane that does sound like construction equipment we'll use it like an elevator it'll take us all the way to the bottom what about your friends hmm? what's on your mind that guy just now are you sure he's safe to be around? He has a gun. Yo. Yeah. Look at those I don't have instincts. Mimiko knows what's up. That's why she's the best character in this game. <laughs> Let's go. It's not entirely Wait true. for us. She's easily my favorite, but doesn't mean she's the best character. Wait. Fresh hell is this? This is too much for me. You gonna be okay? I'm not good with heights. I didn't realize just how deep it was until we were right there. I thought I was going to die. And well, you're safe. Look, the same kind of gadgets we saw in that dead kaiju. They're all over the damn place. Almost like we're in the belly of the boss. <sighs> Looks like something out of a movie set. Aiken. You recognize me? Why am I here? Why are you here? Looks like you got some memories back. Do you have your pills? Not anymore. I'm all out. Hang on a little longer. We need to get back to 1985. Miura, help me out. The pills are in Sector 4. Is she okay? She will be. I was worried for a moment, but she seems to be fine for now. What happened to her? 
Is she ill? An incident occurred during our fight in the Sentinels. From that point on, we began having memory issues. Unfortunately, someone's been taking advantage of that. Her condition is far more serious than mine. She can't prevent it. In any case, looks like we can travel to 1985 without issue. It'll be ready soon. Just wait here for a moment. Me. Alright. Uh oh. What could this be? This is... Miss Miwako. Where... No! 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 I know this shrine. It's by the school. Sweet! You hear that, Miwako? We're almost home. Uh, Miwako? Hmm... 
We're missing Miwako. What? Wasn't she right next to you? Miwako! We must have left her behind. Let's go back. It's no use. She's not like us. The people here, everyone in the city, we're all managed by that computer underground. Isn't that right, Akun? Hmm. To make sure no one impacts this world. To make sure no one finds out the truth. Universal control pulls the strings. Behind the scenes, it handles our lives as it sees fit. It must have determined that she was an inconvenience to this world. No! She knew too much. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad! Okay, so I have to finish off the second area before I can get her back. Okay. That's fine. Okay, and I can't do anything until I finish wave 10. I can unlock her story. <laughs> Alright. Time to do some Hijiyama right. stuff. This is it, all right. Though, no, it's a far cry from the school I remember. So he was just playing the part of Kiriko Doji. I don't know what he's up to, but if I help him, I can save our homeland from this war. Oh, that's right. This dude is... Now... I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. I forgot. This guy is a, um, he's war, Pacific War era character. This building had just been finished when I knew it. Now, well, it's certainly seen better days. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but... It does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we know. It feels like just yesterday. I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro. And now, four decades have passed in a blink of an eye. Like a fairy tale. And this young lady would be? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. I'm Kiriko Doji. Why, well, miss, you're... You're stunning. M my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because... It was the day you came into my life. You're a funny guy. But you seem pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi-san. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. So what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko-san. I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. Um... <clears throat> you could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. I'm not about to let you get away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run now? Still don't trust me, huh? I want to know everything about what you're trying to accomplish. I see. Well, fair enough. The question is, are you even going to believe me? I have already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. What are you trying to do? I'm trying.
trying to stop the apocalypse. A force is already on its way here to destroy the world. And they've got more numbers on their side than we'll ever have. And what are they? I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is, why are they coming? The answer is in something called the decode. <laughs> Let me try and break this Every down. Every time they bring that up, it just makes there me giggle. There are other humans with modifications, like you and Mura could. I am a child. And they're beaming out these signals, calling the destroyers here. Even though they have no idea. The Souther threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications, like me, they're calling them here? But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But I'm not the one who modified all of you. There's too many unknowns with the Inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. So there are other sentinels. A whole lot of them. So this inner Lossiter? It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your body. So what do you want me to do now? Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. It'd definitely be a liability for me, at least. There'll be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. Few hours later. <sighs> Took a nap. Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. Hmm, Loki now. Probably not. Still no sign of him. He told me to wait until noon. I can only waste time napping for so long. Noodles stir-fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. I love how much he loves it. gonna run into Sekigahara? It's quiet outside. Maybe everyone's still in their classes. I'm trying to avoid being seen here, so I'm not supposed to go outside, but... Uh... Nope. Please. Come on, Takatoshi. You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. I can't wait any longer. Be to focus so on their studies. This mm. kind of hanky panky has and no place here. <laughs> really? It's Not just... that that girl wasn't cute, I suppose, but. So basically. <laughs> she has no eye for men. <laughs> but then that means the dream. Just doesn't know how to act. Really? Uh. Go to the break area. This is where we run into Shinonome. her problem. Did you see him? Oh. That boy was so cool. <laughs> was he? Does he even go to our school though? Oh please. Aww. There. That has to be. 
can't let myself get spotted now. Okina would probably never let me hear the end of it. I should look somewhere else for Okina. Okay. Let's go back to the break area. There might be somebody there now. Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even stuffed a letter in my shoe locker, right? Y yes. Shit, she's cute. Okay, so, uh, what's this about? Um, I like you. <laughs> what? Seriously? <laughs> you? Me? Yes. Kizaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. <laughs> what? No! Kiriko-san! That rat bastard! You don't go for another fella's girl! Huh? What's your problem? Hey! Put him up! Uh, hold on! <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, did I just... I can't believe you, Hijiyama-kun. This is... I mean... Don't tell me. You were jealous. I... of course not. I'm sorry for hitting him. You can... like whoever you like. It's none of my business. Where's this coming from? You think I like him just because he's a guy? Uh -huh. Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Ninji Ogata secured, despite complications. Now, help me get him into the old school building. pretenses or not, that confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. I almost feel bad for him. Destroyers. So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Ninji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. That's bad. Now I'm gonna have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. Sentinel. Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right. But we've already thrown 19 Sentinels at them, and lost. Ugh. We need a bigger game-changer than one or two Sentinels. That alone's not gonna make a difference. You did your homework on the Pacific War. You get it, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> the Sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense. There, we've got a clue. But I can't access it from this side. He might be the only one who can. So, where does that leave us? <clears throat> Morning, Hijiyama-kun. Wait, what? Okie okay, no. What's going on? I looked at Ninji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your code. 
And I have to say, it's been very thought-provoking. Oh. Untie me this instant, or I swear, I'll... Why are you getting so worked up now? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us, enjoying some quality time, right? What? Even if that's partially true, things are different now. Untie me before I really get angry. Well, that's weird. You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. You're actually kind of enjoying this, aren't you? Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush? You're such a perv, Hijiyama-kun. Stop toying with me! Well, why don't we see what's really in your heart? What the...? Whoa, you really can't stop thinking about me, huh? Don't be ridiculous! I get it. You're lying to yourself. All to protect your self-image, right? But you can hide all you want. Your physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? Stop! Wow. This really says Stop it all. Stop it! Stop, please! That's a... That, that sucks, man. That's just a... Yeah, that sucks. It's mean. Sure. I feel bad for him. He's 40 years in the future with a girl that's not a girl. Conflicted because he has feelings for him. Feels like I've woken up from a terrible dream. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? The more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? He's unhinged. If I've judged the walking distance right, I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. Small reserve of what? I see. Okino is right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Now, where is Okino? I can relate. You used food to toy with both of us. What? You don't like me taking care of you? I didn't ask you to do that. I'd better get going. Going where? Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. Not fluffy. Is he going to talk to Ijiyama as well? Oh, there's something under the can. Looks like a hundred fifty yen. Oh, okay, no. Are you still trying to look after me? What can I get with 150 yen? A 
bet I can get a snack. Uh, let's go to the schoolyard real quick. Let's see if I can get into the school. Isn't she? My yaki soba pun angel. <laughs> She doesn't recognize me. And then again, I was a mess when she saw me last. Wait, if she's a student here, then that means it must be sold here at the school. <laughs> this is where I can find that yakisoba pond. All right, this is what I was hoping for. Yakisoba pond from back then. Your finest yakisoba pond, please. <laughs> oh. It's too much. So hungry. I've got no strength left. I can't go on like this. I'll starve to death. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe on the main street. I could find some scraps in the garbage. <clears throat> what am I thinking? I am an Imperial soldier. The pride of the Empire. I can't dig through trash like some animal. I'd be better off dead. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. Interesting. <sighs> I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. <clears throat> I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? Excuse me. Um, are you okay? Uh, oh, uh, never better. Was that your stomach? Uh, <laughs> I know. Hmm. What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's yakisoba pan. Yakisoba pan? I can have this? If you'd like. I... I suppose I'll take you up on that. Yaki Soba Pond. <laughs> it's so good! Impossibly good. It's delicious. How could anything so delicious exist in this world? <laughs> I wanted to savor the taste. My man's. I practically inhaled that whole piece. Taken in now that I savor it. I never even got to thank her. I'm the Yakisoba. The Yakisoba pun angel. This should be good. I can eat in peace here. Still, I can't believe I got the last one. I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. Now, time to finally enjoy my... Uh... Uh... Do you want half of this yakisoba pan? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food anyway? You enjoy it. 
Well, if you're sure. You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. Okay, time to dig in. Yay. Mm. I'm very happy that he gets to eat this. Fantastic. This is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yakisoba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her. But when? Do we continue? No. Okay. A few days ago. Oh, she shot him. <laughs> Good grief. You're still going to keep trying then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? There's still residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then maybe I can stop it or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks. Help change things up. Any requests? Yakisoba pun. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. I just haven't eaten any of them yet. That's all. <laughs> wow. Can't argue with that logic. Nice, nice, nice. Huh. Who's there? A female student? What is she doing out so late? More importantly, what's she doing here? Wait, have we met somewhere? The Yakisoba Pond Angel. Um, um. Excuse me. Oh, God, please wait. I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite, uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yakisoba Pond Angel. <laughs> Why? 